Oh, guys, they got me. They got me good. What was supposed to be a review has now turned into a failure video. I uploaded the video of the micro SD card last night. I did a little review on it. It was a 32 gigabyte micro SD card that I bought off eBay for like five bucks. And it turns out, hey, it was fake all along. Uh, a lot of my subscribers came and commented on that video. They're like, you really need to go back and test the actual capacity to make sure it is indeed a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And I was like, wow, why didn't I think of that? I feel so stupid. Uh, so I tried to dump 27 gigabytes worth of data onto that micro SD card and I ran into some errors. At that point, I was like, you know what? This smells fishy. Um, so I pulled the video because I didn't want anyone to think that it was a decent SD card because I said in the video a couple times that, wow, this is actually a pretty decent micro SD card card because I wasn't testing capacity uh, and you know since this is actually a four gigabyte micro SD card masked as a 32 gigabyte micro SD card I didn't realize it because I was only dumping like a gigabyte of data on the uh, uh, micro SD card at a time but after I went back and tried to verify it I tried to put some files on it uh, 27 gigabytes worth of files and I ran into some errors and then after that I went back and grabbed h2 test w and I ran the test and it turns out well here are the results. This laptop's killing me. I had everything on nicely laid out here and I moved the laptop and of course it shut off. And I really need to take the time to tear this down and figure out what's wrong with it because it's killing me. This is my school laptop and it keeps randomly shutting off on me. And that's not good when you're writing, you know, big papers and all of a sudden your laptop just randomly turns off. But it does and, you know, I need to find the time to fix it. And unfortunately, I lost that data. I do have a couple pictures on my phone, so you'll still be, you know, the proof is still there, guys. I'm not just going to uh, BS you guys here, but the pictures that I took are kind of blurry. I just took them so I could post them up on Facebook. And I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, so what I found with this drive is that 27.1 uh, gigabytes of the data that we put on there uh, ended up being corrupted. So only four gigabytes of the data actually remained intact. So therefore, this is a four gigabyte micro SD card. And of course, I'm going to throw up the uh, H2 test W data up on the screen so you guys can actually take a look at that. I verified this using my desktop as well, got the same results and, you know, as far as I can conclude, this uh, micro SD card is only four gigabytes and I got completely gypped. It, I really want to, you know, just go on eBay and buy a couple up because they're only like a dollar for a 32 gigabyte. Well, you know, once again, a fake maybe 32 gigabyte SD card and check if any of them are actually real. That might be a cool test. Maybe buy like four or five of them and see if any of them are actually legit. I doubt any of them are, um, but I am curious. So yeah, this is not a legitimate 32 gigabyte SD card. Unfortunately, it's only a four gigabyte micro SD card got completely gypped here. I'm not happy about it, but it's only $5. I'm out $5 um, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do a giveaway, I think, because I ordered something that I didn't mean to order and I have no use for it. So maybe a uh, giveaway will be coming up soon and I'll include that in there because, you know, I don't want to throw it away because it still works as a four gigabyte micro SD card. But at the same time, I don't have any use for it. So I kind of, you know, don't want it sitting around either. And here's all the information on the back that uh, MMB3R08BUACA-GE serial number seems to be associated with a lot of fake cards. I punched it into Google and, you know, a whole ton of articles about fake micro SD cards and SD cards came up so yeah you definitely want to look out for that number if you're buying cheap SD cards and in the video I found that the USB micro SD card reader was not functional so I tore it open and found that the plastic internal micro SD card holder was completely crushed I tried to fix it I broke the plastic pieces off so the card would actually fit in it and it still didn't work so yeah that is uh, a complete piece of garbage as I already seen in the video but unfortunately I cannot recommend buying this micro SD card. I don't know if I'm going to put the seller up in the description or not. Uh, I, I think I should contact them first. I'm pretty sure they're selling fakes, but it is possible. There's a slight chance that it is possible that I received a dud. So I might try to contact the seller first. I don't want to, you know, screw the seller over if they are selling legitimate products. I want to try to work something out. But if I can't get anything out, I think I might just post them up there uh, so you guys can check it out. So once again, at this time, I cannot recommend buying this card. I uh, kind of got gypped off there and I'm not really happy about it. I'm going to put the uh, original review at the end of this video so you guys can check it out. It was actually pretty decent. The speeds were there. It was uh, just under 10 megabytes per second. So still close to class 10 speeds. And, uh, you know, with the data that we were putting on there, it performed decently. 
I mean, so that's really all I have to say about this. I did an overview because I suspected there might be something wrong with it, and, you know, behold, there was something wrong with it. So, I'm not super disappointed. Only out five bucks once again, and I'm gonna go on Amazon right after this and buy a legitimate 32 gigabyte SD card, one with a nice little brand name on it. I'm gonna throw in the actual overview after this. You can see the unboxing and uh, the tests I perform on it and everything. And I actually did perform decently until I figured out that it was only a uh, four gigabyte micro SD card. Um, so yeah, we were seeing speeds, you know, just under class 10 speeds, and uh, I recorded a couple clips on it, transferred some files over, and it worked okay as a 4 gigabyte micro SD card. But once again, nowhere near that advertised 32 gigabyte capacity, unfortunately. And finally, I just want to thank my subscribers for being awesome and coming into the comment section and bringing that to my attention. Without you guys, I probably would have never figured out that this was actually a fake. You know, I don't really test out portable flash media that much, so it's just one of those things that didn't come to mind. Uh, and without you guys, I would have never, ever thought to uh, test out the capacity. For some reason, it just skipped my mind. I don't know why. Uh, so, once again, thanks for being awesome, guys. Thanks for being there for me, and I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and roll the rest of that video. Hey guys, I bought a really cheap, generic, sketchy micro SD card off eBay for a product that is coming in. And today, I want to see if it even works and if I even got the micro SD card because, hey, this is eBay. I bought a 32 gigabyte SD card. It was five bucks. I will throw up the product description on the screen uh, right in front of you guys so you guys can uh, check all of that out. Uh, but today, I'm going to unbox it, see if we actually got a micro SD card. I'm going to throw it in my computer. Uh, we'll benchmark it, you know, see what the speeds are and if it even works. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now surprisingly, this was from an American seller in Texas. Usually stuff like this comes in from China and it takes like three weeks to actually ship over here. Um, but this was nice because it only took a couple days to arrive after I ordered it. I was surprised that it was an American-based seller. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm gonna try to salvage this package because I am running low on packaging materials. Um, so I'm kind of trying to reuse this one and it's actually opening pretty nicely. Well, for the most part. There we go. And I'll stick my hand in here, pull something out and hopefully it is a micro SD card. That is not a micro SD card. Okay, you know what? This thing's supposed to come with a uh, micro SD card reader. So that's the USB card reader. Okay, I, I forgot about that. My bad, guys. And there we go. That is the micro SD card. And you know what? For something that's generic and off-brand, it looks pretty pretty legitimate. Let me go ahead and uh, move the camera in so you guys can get a better look at everything. So I guess now we have two things to test out. We have to test out the card reader and the actual micro SD card itself. I'm gonna try to keep everything within this little square here so it stays in the frame of the camera, but let's open this up first because this was kind of a surprise. Well, at first anyway, because I forgot that uh, it was supposed to come with one of these, so. And first impressions, I mean, this thing, feels incredibly cheap. I want to put it in my hands and just crush it, to be honest. But, uh, you know, also don't want to do that at the same time. Uh, I mean, it feels really cheap, but, eh, I mean, what do you expect? The entire package was only five bucks. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. I'm going to open this up. And here's our uh, micro SD card to SD card adapter. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. It has a little lock button right here. It doesn't feel awful or anything. And then here is the micro SD card. Uh, there's not really much else to talk about here. I, I feel like, you know, at this point, I should just go ahead and throw it in the computer and see if it works. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> So I have my Dell Inspiron 3521 right in front of me. The SD card is in my Transcend card reader. And then after we use this and verify that the card is actually working, we'll uh, test to see if this cheap little one actually works. Um, but this is a class 10 rated micro SD card. So we should be seeing speeds at least around 10 megabytes per second. And by the way, I didn't mention this earlier. I should have uh, demonstrated this in the last clip. But the micro SD card really doesn't fit in this adapter very well. It takes a lot of force to get it in there. Um, and really, I think I might actually just toss this aside and use a different adapter because I have a couple just lying around. Now, this one isn't that great. Okay, gonna plug the card reader in now and hopefully Windows actually detects something. 
All right, wow, okay. So uh, it is detecting the SD card as removable disk D. So what are the properties of that disk? We should be seeing capacity of around 32 gigabytes. Yep. Okay, so it is being detected properly. And you know what, let's just try transferring a file over to that micro SD card. So I went ahead and transferred a video file over to the solid state drive on my PC. And we're gonna take this file and drag it to the SD card and see what kind of speeds we get. Of course, after this, I'm gonna open up Crystal Disk Mark and that should give us an even better idea of where the speeds stand. Uh, but I wanna try this first and see what we get. So yeah. We're hovering around 10 megabytes per second, just a little bit under 10 megabytes per second. And let me zoom in just a tad. Oh, you know what? I can't zoom in anymore. Sorry guys, the desk is in the way. I can't uh, move the camera any closer, but yeah, we're getting currently around 9.6 megabytes per second. So to be labeled as a class 10 card, your speeds must be at a minimum 10 megabytes per second. Now that was sitting slightly, just slightly under 10 megabytes per second with that test. So I will label that as acceptable. Of course, uh, Crystal Disk Mark will probably give us a slightly more accurate rating of where this thing sits at. And the video file has finished transferring over. So let's pop it open and play it back. There we go. So playback looks just fine off the card. That's all fine and dandy. So I'm going to pop open Crystal Disk Mark and we'll benchmark the drive using it. And we're seeing pretty much the same thing from the benchmark. Crystal Disk Mark has just finished and we are seeing write speeds just under 10 megabytes per second, which as I said earlier, I do see as acceptable. Some of you might see that as underperforming, but for the price of this thing, I think it's okay. Um, and as with, you know, a lot of micro SD cards, the random write speeds on this thing are just absolutely horrific. <laughs> Look at that, uh, 0 0.007 megabytes per second and 0 0.006 megabytes per second. Ooh, that looks fun. And then of course you can see the uh, read speeds on the left hand corner, which are actually uh, okay. So I'm gonna remove the micro micro SD card from this transcend card reader. And by the way, I just looked at the uh, the seller page I bought this from and apparently I was supposed to get a black one of these. I did not order the uh, one that came with the blue model. I ordered the uh, black version, but it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I, I really don't care. Color preferences, you know, it, it, it's something I don't really think is a big deal. And not sure how this is supposed to go in here. Okay, so I cannot for the love of goodness sake figure out how to get the micro SD card in here. It's like, there's no like feedback or anything. Nope, 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 nope. Um, unless your goal is to gouge your eyes out out of frustration, then that which just went over my desk is not for you. I've been playing around for it for like 10 minutes and let me tell you guys, it does not work. I'm sorry about all the drama, but in all seriousness, I mean, I tried to give this thing a chance and it's just absolute garbage. I cannot get it to work. It doesn't even hold the SD card in properly. It's, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things that I might just end up throwing away or parting out for uh, just the USB section for parts because it's just really not worth it. It's not functional. So I filmed this video because I thought it was going to make a hilarious failure, but to my surprise, the micro SD card was actually pretty decent. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world. You saw the speeds, uh, just under 10 megabytes per second, but I mean, it's okay for five bucks. Uh, this on the other hand really isn't. This is a total piece of junk. Maybe I just got a defective one. Maybe uh, the reason they're including this with the micro SD card is just to get rid of it. They probably had some kind of error in the fact but then again, uh, of course, I could be doing something wrong and it could be user error, but I highly doubt it. Um, so that's going to be about it for this video. And by the way, I do have the micro SD card in my camera right now, which is recording 1080p at 60 FPS. And if I publish it, that means the footage came out okay. So card performed okay. Uh, as far as longevity is concerned, uh, not really sure. You know, I can't be sure yet. Only had the card for an hour or two at this point. Um, so, hey, I'll post a couple comments and keep you guys updated. And if you want to check out this card, which once again is a pretty decent card, you're getting 32 gigabytes of storage and a well, almost class 10 rating um, for five bucks. So I'll uh, include the link in the description if you want to check it out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, please tell me why. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to support us, you can use my Amazon affiliate links and eBay affiliate link, which will be in the description. And that's going to be about it. I will see you guys in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.